Hello, kiddo. Sir E is here, and today let's talk about convex mirrors. <laughs> what is a convex mirror? Convex mirror is also called as diverging mirror. You just have to remember that it has an outward curve. Why is it called diverging mirror? Because it spreads out the light rays that have in contact with it. This time, let's discuss the ray diagram of the images formed by convex mirrors. And it looks like this. As you see, the light rays here are spread out or diverge. And as you can see, the image is formed behind the mirror. The intersection of the extended light rays is where the image occurs. This time, let us discuss the characteristics of the images formed by convex mirror. The size of the image form is always reduced or it is smaller than the object. The attitude or the orientation, it is always upright. Its location is formed behind the mirror. And again, once the image is formed behind the mirror, it will form a virtual image. You have to take note that the images formed by convex mirror in all cases are always like this or always having this kind of characteristics. What are the applications of convex mirror? Last time, you have learned that the outside of a spoon is the best way for us to visualize what a convex mirror is. In terms of application, this is used in the following cases. Vehicle side mirror, security mirror that is usually seen in convenience stores and department stores to check if there are thieves or somebody who is stealing the products. Applying the characteristics of the convex mirror, you know that it would have a wider view since all the images would be smaller or reduced in size. That's why we can see a bigger picture or area behind the car or even at the place like convenience store or department store. For number four and five, light reflector and flashlight, this is where the diverging characteristic of convex mirror is applied. The light coming from the flashlight will be covering wider range. And so it is more convenient. And we are done. I hope that the concept of convex mirror, its images, and also ray diagram are now clear to you. See you again in my next teach vlog. Bye-bye. God bless. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>